Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking more about how stomach problems can be affected by the nervous system and other ways of course that the stomach problems can be caused in the body. So when people think about stomach problems, some of the most common things they think about are maybe indigestion, maybe it's reflux, maybe it's even something like GERD or maybe they've got something going on with some sort of growth or polyps or there can be a number of different things. IBS is also a very common problem that people will see with stomach issues. And for the majority of people with stomach issues, especially if it's something that's more long-term chronic, they've probably been to a number of different people about this, such as gastroenterologists, other doctors, maybe TCM, maybe different types of massage or acupuncture, and have tried lots of different things to try and get to it. And I think this is always one of the best things to do, especially by checking with your medical doctor first. If you have any kind of problem that may be going on the stomach, it's also good to go through some sort of a some sort of medical route to see if there's anything going on there and potentially even going and speaking with a functional medicine person or someone that works in nutrition to see if there's anything going on with your diet that may be affected. One of the people that we work with, Pooja, is very good when it comes to helping people when they have some sort of digestive issues or stomach issues by doing examinations of their diet, even doing fecal examinations and seeing what's going on. The same thing would be about seeing your medical doctor, seeing if there's any presence of such problems like, say, bacterial issues, like, say, H. pylori or anything else. However, if you've been through all of these routes and you still come away with there being this problem with the nervous system, sorry, with the stomach, there may be a link to the nervous system. Now, the way to really see this and think of this is your nervous system is a wiring system for your body. There's a control problem all over. So an example I would use is, say for me, here in my office, I have a TV. And say the TV one day stops working. Now, the first thing I should do, of course, is check the television. This would be like, say, if you have a stomach problem, and then first thing you do is you check if there's anything wrong with the stomach by, say, seeing your doctor, having examinations and doing tests to see if there's anything going on. However, if I do an examination of my TV and say I take it and I plug it in somewhere else and I find that the TV does turn on, then really it's not a problem with the television. The problem I need to find out with is what's going on with the wiring and the electric that was getting to that television in the first place. And the same thing for your body. If they do examinations and they do tests and they find that everything is fine with the stomach itself, then the problem may not be the stomach and the digestive system, but it may be the messages that are or are not properly getting to that part of the body. And the way that we do this is that we check through the nervous system in our practice. The reason for this as well, why it's such an important area, is especially at the top part of your neck, we have in these two bones, sitting with my finger is in there, is the brainstem. And the brainstem is a control center for your body. And it has these control areas as part of the brainstem's nerve pathways as they're passing through in the ILM. And in this area, it contains control areas for your breathing, your heart rate, your digestion, immune response, balance centers, and also the cranial nerves. And digestion is one thing that can be affected, because if the messages going from the brain down to the stomach are not getting there properly, and then the relays that are coming from the stomach up to the brain are not getting there properly, then the two will not be able to communicate and problems will keep arising. For a lot of people, say, who have reflux issues, this can be where there's this breakdown in communication, where essentially the stomach is not being able to tell the brain that it, say, has enough acid in there. So the brain keeps saying, well, there's, there's more food coming in and we need more acid in there. And we're not getting this message back properly from the stomach. So let's keep adding more acid, let's keep adding more acid. And it becomes this vicious cycle of going around and around. And in these cases, a lot of people then take to antacids, maybe stronger medication. And all this medication will work for some time. But as the message keeps continuing, they then will need stronger medication and stronger medication and stronger medication. So in these cases, especially if you have already been to see a number of different people, had a range of tests already run, had labs done, it's always good then to do an examination to see exactly what's going on in the nervous system. And that's one of the things that we specialize here in the practice. So if anyone has any questions about stomach issues or any other nerve system related problems or any health problems in general, Please feel free to give us a call on 8438-9550. You can comment below the video or you can contact us at, by email at help at vitalitychiropracticcenters.com. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible.